Right guys, I want to explain to you how you should be warming up when it comes to the gym. So warm ups, as we all know, is a very important process. And the idea behind a warm up is to get ourselves uh, ready for the workout so that one, we don't injure ourselves and so that we can also lift, you know, the maximum amount of weight. So hopefully that we understand that when it comes to warm ups, we want to do something which is specific for warming up that given muscle group. So a warm up isn't typically trying to get warm, right? It's that is a, you know, a secondary thing to us training. So doing like a jog or five to 10 minutes on a treadmill or a cardio machine isn't going to do anything for us if we're looking at training chest, right? Um, it may be a a semi-decent warm-up for if we're looking at you know training our legs but when it comes to lifting uh, in terms of our upper body and doing what we are doing in the gym doing any running or anything like that on a treadmill is not going to uh, warm us up appropriately and get us prepared to lift weight right we're still going to injure ourselves our chest is not warm from running okay so the idea behind the actual warm-up is to stimulate ourselves neurologically um, so getting a feel for the weight, not to fatigue ourselves. Um, and, you know, when it comes to like building muscle, when it comes to challenging ourselves in the gym, when it comes to progressing and improving our strength, what is really, really important in this situation is to be able to lift the maximum amount of weight. And the only way that you're going to be able to do that is by not holding yourself back when it comes to the weights that you're lifting. So how I would run through the warm up is if you have a look at my first set so usually you'll see in the in the training program that our initial working set is going to be or initial you know rep range I may I may write you know three sets of 8 to 10 for example or 10 to 12 so you what you're aiming for is you're aiming for the most amount of weight that you can push for 8 to 10 reps right and I know after a few weeks of doing this, that my working weight is gonna be 55 kilos. So that's my best that I can do on this, right? And I want to be able to do that maximally. So how I would go about it is I would break this down into doing five work warm up sets, right? So in the beginning, I'll start off with, you know, a light weight to get a feel for it. So what you'll see here is that I'm using an extremely light weight for me. So 12 kilos here and I'm doing about 10 reps. So getting the full range of motion, getting used to doing the exercise, feeling out the movement, um, getting the full range of motion with a light weight um, so that you know I'm ready to lift. Once I've done 10 reps, I then go and increase the weight. So I'll increase that by maybe 10%. And again, um, I'm looking at doing about eight reps here. So still keeping the reps quite high whilst I increase it, um, so, but increasing by about, you know, give or take eight to 10% of load, right? And then I'll keep doing this process. So step three, again, I'm gonna increase the weight further. So now I'm on 32 kilos, and but I'm decreasing the, the, the reps now. So 32 kilos now for only five reps. So as I get closer towards my maximum weight that I can lift, I'm reducing the reps so that I don't create too much fatigue on myself, so I don't make myself tired, so that then I can lift the maximum amount of weight, right? And again, I keep repeating this process, so now I've jumped the weight up again to now 42s, and I'm only doing three reps. Again, I'm getting you know a feel for this movement, and I'm not trying to fatigue myself too much. And then my final warm up, I'm doing very close to what I would do maximally, but I'm only doing it for two reps. So I get a feel for that weight. Because if I went from 12 kilos all the way straight up to 55, it would feel incredibly heavy because my, my neurologically, my body isn't switched on yet to lift that weight. And then in that from that position, that point, I'm now ready to lift the maximum amount of weight and get started, right? So now I'll start off with 55 kilos and now I'm able to do this for, you know, eight to 10 reps. And that's my top set. And this is really important if you're looking at improving your strength, which all of you should be, right? If I did 
12 reps on 12 kilos and then did 12 reps on 22 kilos and then 12 reps on 32 kilos and then 12 reps on 42 kilos I would be absolutely exhausted by the time it comes to me doing the top set and I wouldn't be able to generate that much power I wouldn't be able to get 8 to 10 reps on my top set right so this is a very very important concept to understand because the aim here is it, the, the lower weights don't matter the lower weights are only there to stimulate you the top set and the the heaviest weight that's what matters the most so put all of your effort into that top set and that's the easiest way that you can warm up and progress in the gym